again. Hello. So we've made our dolly. We've done her head, her body, her arms and her legs are attached. So now it's time for us to do her facial features. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the eyes. Now if you bought the kit you would have had a pack like this in your kit. This has got the eye colour and the mouth colour. So I'm going to take off 70 centimetres of the brown for the eye colour and then I'm going to split that thread into two, she says. Let's use a pair of scissors to do this. So just split that thread open, three each side. And as you pull through, it will separate. A bit difficult me doing up, up here like this. I normally put it in between my knees and pull it. It's much easier. So I've now got one, two. So two pieces of thread measured at about 70 centimetres. Right, now we're going to do some measuring for the eye placements. So I'm going to take my tape measure. Oh, let's get it the right way around. And I want to measure from side to side. So I'll put a pin in and that's basically where that cross stitch is that we did with the string. So you should be able to feel that still under your doll jersey. So pop a pin in where you think those little cross marks are and then take your tape measure and measure from side to side. Now in my case it measures 14 so that's good. And I'm looking for my central point which is going to be seven centimetres. So I'm going to take a pin, I think I'll take a blue one this time, and pop it in there at seven centimetres. And then using my tape measure again, I'm going to measure 2.5 centimetres from that central pin. So place it on, and measure 2.5 centimetres either side of that pin. So I've put some small pins, some general pins in there to mark my um, eye points. Um, I'll just put some darker pins in just so it makes it easier for you to see. Okay, so now we have the perfect positioning for her eyes. So let's just take that blue pin away. I'm just going to show you with a red pin here. That's basically the positioning of her mouth. So you can just see what uh, the complete face will look like. So let's remove those two black pins. So you can just see the two small pins that I've put in. And then next I'm going to take my air erasable marker pen. And where that pin is positioned I'm just going to place a little dot. I'll just strengthen that slightly so that you can see it better. And then the next thing I'm going to do is do some cross lines. A vertical cross line and a horizontal cross line on each side. So this way of doing the eyes is completely different to what's actually written down in the manual. Um, I just find that this is a much easier method to work from um, rather than trying to do completely freehand embroidery. So do bear with me on this. Next we're going to take our strong thread. Um, it's an upholstery thread. So if you bought the, the uh, kit, it came in the pack um, of the kit. And I've cut four pieces at 70 centimetres long. Tip 
take your long dull needle and thread up with your strong thread. Now I like to position the threads so that I know that they're both coming out at the same angle on the top of the head. So it's basically coming up and out on a slight angle. So what I like to do is to put a pin in where I'm aiming for my needle to come out from and then I'll do the same on the other side so that I know that when I put my needle in the threads are all both going to come out at the same point. So using your needle, pop it in through the very tip of that top of that line and bring it out through the back close to where your marker pin is. Pull it through. You only need a little bit on the back side. Rethread the needle again from the front string and this time going in through the bottom of that line. Same thing, take it up and out towards the back close to where that first string is coming out. So now you can see you've got the two threads coming out the back, both in similar positions. So the next thing to do is to reattach back to your needle. I'm just going to find a slightly shorter length needle. And I'm just going to fasten off one of the threads, so make it slightly shorter, pull the other one and I'm just going to fasten the couple of stitches on that one. Stick the tail and snip the end. Then I'm taking my second piece of strong thread, threading it through my long doll, doll needle. This time I'm going in through the horizontal line, through that little edge at the back to basically similar position as the first string. Rethread the doll needle back with the string coming out the front. And on the other side of that little line, in it goes and out the back. I'm keeping hold of that little piece of thread there that's attached to the needle because that's the one I know that I'm going to fasten off. So I'm just using a, a shorter needle here and I'm just going to fasten off that string. So I've fastened off that second string and what I've got here is I've got two strings or two uh, strong threads coming out the back of the head and as you can see when I pull on those two threads it's going to indent that eye, it's going to give her a sunken eye so the eye socket is going to retract back 
now it's time to do the other side okay so both sides are done and I've got the strings coming out the back and as you can see that when you pull on those threads the eyes will depress backwards to create this eye socket just going to leave those hanging there for the moment then you can take your embroidery thread and take it in from the back of the head it doesn't have to be anywhere in particular just take it in from the back into the eye socket that's as good a place as any so pull that through Bring the majority of the thread through to the front and you only need a small short piece at the back just to fasten that off. So attach that back to your needle. I think my needle's a bit long. I'm going to grab my small darning needle easier to work with just for fastening off that thread fasten off nice and tightly and then sink the tail So I've still got my two strings coming out the back and I've now got my one piece of embroidery thread coming out the front. Next we're going to use a template gauge for sewing our eye shape. What I like to use are these little black sticky dots. You can buy them from most stationers and they come on a little, uh, in a little packet like this. I think these are the 6mm size. Now you could equally use a little button, so that's a small little 6mm button or even a 10mm button, they would work um, equally the same. So we're going to place these little black sticky dots on top of our eye line. Now I like to use my tweezers, <laughs> I find it much easier especially with these nails so I just take one small black sticky dot and place it, it's going on top of those little crosses, the little cross threads that you've got there, so one dot, place it down, take a second dot and lay that on top and press it down and then we'll take a third dot as well. I think three dots just make it that little bit much, a little bit more sturdier, because one dot can be just a little bit floppy. So yeah, place, if you're gonna use the sticky dots, use three dots. So press them down, make sure they're nice and firmly in place. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our thread to go backwards and forwards from side to side in little cross stitches so that we completely cover the little sticky dot template. So take your needle, it doesn't have to be your doll needle, just a general needle, thread it up with your embroidery thread. and then go in from the opposite side that the thread is coming out from. That's your first stitch. So my first stitch is going to be horizontal and coming out at the vertical point below. So as that stitch is made and it's coming down, just pull on that thread, 
just so that you know that it's not tangled and that it's laying correctly. So that's your first stitch done. And then my second stitch is going in from the top and out to the side. So I do, I do know that eyes tend to be everyone's nemesis. Everyone seems to be really frightened when it comes to actually doing the eyes. Um, and I completely understand this because you've, you know, you've worked hard on your doll and you don't want to mess it up. But the thing to remember is, is don't be frightened of it. Don't be scared because if the worst comes to the worst and you do do it wrong, you know, just unpick it. Cut those threads out, pull them out and start again. Um, you know, just do your best and you'll find it will get easier the more that you do. So I've done a cross stitch um, over the sticky dot and that is now helping to keep that in place and you're just going to continue now doing cross stitches backwards and forwards to completely cover that sticky dot. Long nails do help <laughs> the uh, thread from tangling. You don't have to do it in any sort of pattern, um, just go in backwards and forwards as long as that um, sticky dot template is being completely covered. So when you come in out, you try to take your thread in opposite um, so that then you're getting a full length, full length of the stitch. So when you've completely covered your template, your sticky dot or your button and you're happy with that finished result, you're just going to take your doll needle and re-thread it back with the embroidery thread. And then this last stitch you're going to take out towards the back of the head. And that can basically come out wherever, wherever it lands. Make sure that last stitch is nice and snug and then just change over to your normal needle and then you can fasten that thread off. Okay, so there's your first eye. Lovely. So now we just need to repeat that process for the second eye. Lovely. So there she is with her eyes done.
Now we're going to sink those eyes back, give them a slight depression. So you can see if you pull on those strings, it will start to pull back those eye sockets. It will depress those eyes, depress that eye line. So what you need to do is the two threads that are coming out the back on one side, just tie them once in a knot until you get to the uh, depression that you like. Just keep pulling and when you've decided that you like that positioning, just hold one of the threads. Put a pin in her head and then you can secure the other piece of thread around that using a figure of eight technique just to keep that one in place. And then you can then sew the other one and fasten that off into the head. So give it a little pull just to make sure it's not slipped. And then fasten that off nicely with a couple of stitches. And reattach your needle to the other piece of thread and then you can let go of your anchor pin and fasten that thread off as well And as you can see now, all your little fastening off ends, they're all just nice little dots with uh, sunken in tails. And so now we're just going to repeat that process for the other eye. So there you have your nicely finished eyes. So moving on to the mouth now. Now the mouth is quite low down, it's sort of basically towards the bottom part of her chin. If you were to bring it up too high it's going to make her look very chin heavy. So keep it low down. We need to find the central portion of the face. So I'm just popping a pin in centralized under her nose. And then I'm gonna take my tape measure. and going in from under the neck, right under the crease of the neck there. I'm gonna measure up. 2.5 centimeters so it's only a short distance so 2.5 centimeters is where I'm placing my pin I'm just moving it over slightly just to keep it more in line with the center black pin so that they are both level and in line with each other And then next I'm going to take my tape measure and I need to measure three centimetres. So put in my tape measure at 1.5 centrally. I'm now I'm going to take a couple more pins, put one in at zero and another one in at three centimetres. So 
So that's basically the outside edge of the mouth. So check that it's centralised and that each side is evenly spaced. Okay, so next we're going to take our strong thread. You would have got this in your kit. It's a strong linen thread. And we're taking our mouth colour. I'm going to be using something slightly darker because I wanted a more of a, a deeper mouth shade um, on this doll so I'm opting for a Cerisi pink colour. And then with your strong thread, take 70 centimetres on your doll needle. And what you need to do is you need to go in just slightly above where that pin marker is. Slightly above and at a slight angle. Again, you need to bring this out at the same place um, on the top of the head. So pop a couple of pins in just as a guide so that you know where that your, your doll needle is heading for. So push your doll needle through, up and out to where those pin guides are. Pull it through and leave a shorter end on the top of the head end. And then reattach your thread that's coming out from the mouth back onto your doll needle. And this time, you're going to go in through where that red pin marker is. So exactly where that pin was placed. And I'm bringing it out exactly where that pin is placed on the other side. So bring the thread through. And then this next stitch is slightly above and at an angle and that's coming out through the back of the head near where your pin marker is. So now you can see I've got two loops at each corner of the mouth. And just pull those threads back and just let them hang there for the time being. So take your embroidery thread, about 70 centimeters, on a doll needle and go in just underneath where that lower portion of the stitch mark is and bring that out to where that marker pin is. And just let that side go. Then we're going to reattach our thread from the front back onto our doll needle. And this time we're going in on the other side of the mouth, just slightly below that stitch that we've placed in there with our strong thread. And same again, bringing that up and out towards the back of the head. Okay, so with the blue pin that's still there, the thread is underneath there. What I need to do is I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. So bring that pin down. The embroidery thread is underneath it. 
and I'm going to get my doll needle and I'm just going to prick and prod at the top lip and that's just going to give a little bit more fullness to the top of the mouth and it's going to help to create the smile so when I pull the threads with a bit more plumpness on that top lip it's going to help to produce a lovely little smile next we're going to atta attach uh, a needle to our strong thread coming out the back of the head and we're just going to fasten that side off then you can see that when I pull on the thread, the string from the other side, the thread from the other side, as I gently pull on it, that's depressing those sides of the mouth backwards. And you can play around with this and just pull and see how much of a depression you want there. Um, it's entirely up to you how, how deep you go. Then reattach your needle back onto the strong thread. And just give it a little pull just to get that position in that you're happy with and when you're happy hold on to the thread so that you can make your first stitch which will secure that in place and then a couple more stitches to fasten off sink the tail and snip it off but just keep going backwards and forwards just to you know check it out check it out at the front make sure that you're happy um, with that smile line okay and now we're going to do the same with the embroidery thread so take the side that's probably already got your needle still attached to it And we're going to, oh actually I'm just going to take that up a bit because it seems a bit too close to the hairline. So I'm just bringing that up and then I'm fastening off that side. A couple of nice little tight stitches. And then re-thread my embroidery thread back on the needle and then just give it a little light little pull and then you can see the smile that you're creating the harder you pull the deeper that smile line will invert back into the head. So when you're happy with the positioning, hold on to that thread, just do a stitch to secure it and then fasten off that embroidery thread. And then finally just take your nut your doll needle again and just prick and prod away at that top lip and some on the chin and any areas that you feel you just need to reposition the stuffing inside the face to get her perfect. So yeah, I'm happy with that little face. She's a cutie with a little button nose. <laughs>